Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the graphs of f and g are given, and we have them right here. And we need to use them to evaluate each limit if it exists, and if it does not exist, we need to explain why. So first we have the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x plus g of x. So this is equal to the limit of f of x plus the limit of g of x. Right, we can separate these out and now evaluate them by looking at the graphs. So as x approaches 2, f of x approaches this point right here at negative 1. As x approaches 2, g of x approaches this point right here, which has a value of 2. So this is negative 1 plus 2, or positive 1. In part b, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x minus g of x. So again, we can separate them. Sorry, that should be a 0, minus the limit of g of x. The limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is this point right here with a value of 2, minus as x approaches 0, g of x approaches from the left this point with a value of 3, and from the right this point with a value of 1. So it's approaching different values from the left and right, so it's undefined. So this whole function is undefined, or we can say does not exist. And here, we have the limit as x approaches negative 1 of this product. So instead, we take the product of the individual limits. As x approaches negative 1, at f of x, it approaches this point right here with a value of 1. Note that that's different with the actual value of the function, which is way up here at 3, but we're saying as it approaches negative 1, it approaches this point right here, which is 1. And for g of x, it simply approaches this point right here with a value of 2, so this is 1 times 2, which we know is 2. Next, the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x over g of x. Just like with the other steps, you just separate it out and you take the individual limits, and then you apply whatever operations you need to. So we have a division, so we take the individual limits and then divide them. As x approaches 3, f of x over here approaches this point right here at 1. And as x approaches 3, g of x approaches this point right here at 0. So this is undefined, or the limit does not exist. As x approaches 2, for x squared times f of x, so we can say that we take the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared times the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. And we can say that as x approaches 2, this just goes to 4, right? We can just calculate that straight up because 2 squared is 4. And then as x approaches 2, f of x, as we found earlier, goes to this point right here at negative 1. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And finally, in f, we have f of negative 1. So again, this is not the same as the value where the function is approaching um, as x approaches negative 1. It's instead this point up here with a value of 3. For most points on this function, yes, the value of the function is equal to the value which the function approaches. But this is one case where it is not, so it's 3 plus the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x, which we already found was that point right here with a value of 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, and that gives us our final answer. So we have here 1, the function does not exist, 2, the function does not exist, negative 4, and 5.